So I'm out at the range today. I brought with me one of my favorite toys, the M1917. And I know what you're thinking. Well, you already did a video on one of those, man. Actually, you did a couple of videos, and you're absolutely correct. I did do a couple of videos with an M1917. That was a Remington manufactured one. What I have today is a Eddystone manufactured M1917. I'm out here to shoot, and that's what we shall do. So, with this M1917, it was said that it's not shooting straight. Instead of putting up a paper target, I put up my truck door. I got a few circle targets. These peel and stick. Show you when they blow up targets. I've thrown a few of those on the door. We're going to see if it shoots straight. If it shoots straight, well then I got some other shit we're going to blow up. So we're just going to have fun with it today. That's all we're out here to do anyways, is just have fun. I'm Andrew. These are my great outdoor adventures. Check out the M1917. So, just to make things simpler, I think we're going to use our bar today. This is exactly 100 yards out. The M1917 in question, this Eddy Stone, is uh, open sights. So, and that's why I find it really funny that the complaint is that it's not shooting straight. So, I have my bipod with me. I got a barrel lug put on this thing so I can mount the bipod. We're going to use our bar today because it's a very solid bench to shoot off of and truck door set up. Let's uh, get this Eddy Stone. Let's have a look at it. Well, folks, here we are. This is the Eddy Stone version of the M1917. Well, one of several. One of a couple million examples. This one, obviously, this is not original stock. This is a hunting stock put on afterwards. It's not in the greatest shape either. I hope it's not cracked. Because shooting this 30 odd 6 will not be fun with a cracked stock. These were revered as a very, very nice rifle. It's a copy of a Mauser bolt. Got the ladder sights on here. Again, the only thing I don't like is the peephole on there. It's ridiculous to try and aim, but the front peg in the center and center of the hole. Whatever, it works. Maybe the person was having some issues with it and was not able to shoot it because of that. There we go. Get up close on this safety latch here and we see the E on there. So that was made at the Eddie Stone factory. We get up close on the back side of this bolt here. And you can see the E, so that's Eddie Stone. So we'd have to look at the rest of the bolt to see if it has any more markings on it. But, uh... We got the E on the bolt. We got the E on the safety. We got our ladder, peep sight, range. They say range on this one because it is chambered in a 30-06, 30-06 Springfield. That effective range on this, if I guess if you had the optics, was like 5,500 yards. That's quite the range. This makes it even more interesting. We got an E stamped on this, on the muzzle end of the barrel, but a W stamped on this end. So maybe this barrel was made at the Eddy Stone factory, but possibly this rifle had some rebuilding work that was done at the Winchester factory. You know what? Your hit the history on this rifle is. My guess is as good as yours. That's very interesting. 
closer look at there. I hope those come out nice in the video. It's really bright here, so we shall see. It's not showing good on my, my view camera. As I say, 30 out 6. We're going to be shooting some Federal Fusion bonded soft points, 150 grain. Thank you again, Swamp Donkey. She is a. It is a Springfield 30 out 6. It's made in the US. It is the American Enfield. All right. Now I've gone and covered up all the holes. Let's try this truck door thing again. I'll load up two and try it again. Two. All right. We're locked and loaded. <sighs> this open site with the peephole and the post makes it pretty hard. I mean, that's what the 303 had, but it's still very difficult to aim and shoot with. That sounded like truck door solid mass to me. It just had that noise to it. Second shot, here we go. And then we'll go and have a look and see what we're doing. And that wasn't the best shot, but... I think the, the rifle was shouldered a little high on that one. So it didn't feel the greatest and I don't think it was the best shot either, but hey. There. I got lost it. That's what you gotta aim with down town range. That teeny tiny little peg and you gotta put it in the middle of the hole. Which I can't even do with my camera. Because it's fucking impossible to aim with these things. So, like I said, one more round at that. I'm going to try for that center one. I'm going to slightly compensate and see if I can actually hit that. Right now, it's a pretty horrible fucking grouping. <clears throat> I don't know if this thing was built so much for accuracy, but... You guys got to try, I guess, right? Okay. I guess it's better if you back off from it a little bit. Maybe. Oh, here goes nothing. Let's go and see. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see where my shots lie because I can't really have fun blowing shit up with this thing if I can't place my shot well. So my targets aren't exactly huge. So let's go and see how I did. Otherwise, I'm not blowing anything up today, which makes me very, very sad. I'd call bullshit on myself if I didn't have that on camera. When your shots are 100% consistent, Sometimes you just got to stack the deck in your favor. Three pumpkins, some tomato sauce in the middle. Yeah, I know, but these peep sites, I'm not hitting very much with this Eddie stone. Not being very consistent. My grouping's horrible.
or is it? All right, let's have some fun with it. Let's get it done. Oh yeah, I can't wait to hit this. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it! 106 years old, what do you think? Is she gonna be saucy or is she gonna be a squash? Pumpkin, same fucking thing. Isn't that what a pumpkin is, is a squash? Back to the rifle. What do you guys think? Saucy or squash? Let me know. We're getting ready. Oh, maybe not. All right, what do you guys think? Saucy or squash? Come on, lock in your votes right now. Go ahead, lock them in. Not like you can. Just fucking with you. Okay, let's see what we can do. And I missed. Let's get better with it, buddy. That was a pumpkin strike for sure. Let's see if we can strike water jug. Of course I can. Pumpkins are a little too close to the camera. So I want to try that water jug that's now on the ground. And I got one more shot and I'm taking it. I'm going to try for the middle pumpkin. Or not the middle, but the end one. The one closest to the water jug. So I don't want to hit the camera. All right, that was all five. First shot, locked and loaded, and ready to rock and roll. Let's assume the stance. All right, bottle of pop it is. This is an impossible shot. I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking my shot was a little bit low because there doesn't seem to be a bucket of coleslaw sitting down there anymore. All right, we're back set up again. I know, that was fast. We have two shots left now. Just two. Just two. Two. All right. We're gonna load them up. Sorry, if I sound out of breath, that's because I am, because I walk back and forth 100 yards every time and I stop the camera. So, I don't know. I'm at 4,000 steps, I've been out here for an hour. I have a pumpkin set up down there and I have a fire extinguisher. Two shots left, one for the pumpkin, one for the fire extinguisher. Let's see if we can get it done. Get locked and loaded, assume the stance. Pumpkin first.
All right, put a hole in a fire extinguisher. So, in conclusion for today, our M1917 Eddystone with the open sights seems to be shooting absolutely fine to me. I don't know what Buddy's problem was, but again, I'm not here to solve everybody's problems. I'm just here to see if it actually functions the way that it should, and it does. I am a huge fan of these M1917s. One of the first ones that I ever had. And uh, yeah, I hope to see a few more of them. Fantastic. If you ever have the opportunity to get yourself one of these, I recommend you do. They are beyond reliable. And that's all I have to say about that. You can catch me on YouTube. You can catch me on Patreon too. Join me. I'm going to continue to pump out videos. I got some really cool stuff coming out here pretty quick. Keep watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Until next time, I love all you guys. Talk to you later.